This overview explains in more detail the components and functions of the pitch control system. First, we'll examine the forward section in the cockpit area. The control column is attached to the forward push pull rod, which acts on the forward bell crank as shown. The forward bell crank is attached to a pair of cables that are routed beneath the airplane floor via pulleys to the elevators. When the pilot pushes the control column, the bell crank pulls on the down cable. When the pilot pulls on the control column, the bell crank pulls on the up cable. The two components shown here are the secondary control stops. Contact between the secondary control stops and the stop limits shown in red limit the travel of the control column if the primary stops in the tail do not make contact. This animation shows the entire range of motion of a properly adjusted cable system. Notice that the secondary control stops do not make contact with the stop limits throughout its entire range of operation. Now we will examine the tail section in the aft area. This is a side view of the tail section. The cables run from the front section beneath the floor and through the vertical stabilizer at the tail section. Each cable has a turnbuckle in the base of the vertical stabilizer, one for the up cable and one for the down cable. Adjustments of the turnbuckles lengthen or shorten the cables to establish the correct cable tension. The aft bell crank's rotation pushes or pulls the elevator control horn, which is attached to the elevators. The two components shown in red are the primary control stops, which limit rotation of the control horn. By limiting rotation of the elevator control horn, the primary control stops also limit travel of the elevators. Next, we will see the range of motion in a properly adjusted cable system. The primary limit for elevator travel is contact between the control horn and the primary control stops. This scene demonstrates the simultaneous operation of a properly adjusted cable system. The bottom left frame shows the forward section near the cockpit. The top frame shows the aft section, which contains the tail. The bottom right frame shows a close-up view of the primary control stops and the elevator control horn in the tail. As the pilot pulls back on the control column to the most aft position, the control horn contacts the primary up stop in the tail, limiting elevator rotation to approximately 20 degrees up from the neutral position. As the pilot pushes the control column toward the most forward position, the control horn contacts the primary downstop in the tail, limiting elevator rotation to approximately 14 degrees down from the neutral position. Notice that in a properly adjusted system, elevator travel is limited by contact of the elevator control horn with the primary stops located in the tail and not by the secondary stops located in the forward section. The entire range of travel available to the pilot in the properly adjusted system is shown in green. This scene demonstrates the simultaneous operation of a system when the down cable is improperly adjusted. As the pilot pulls back on the control column to the most aft position, the control horn contacts the primary up stop in the tail, limiting elevator rotation to approximately 20 degrees up from the neutral position and pitching the airplane nose up to the same extent as in a properly adjusted system. 
As the pilot pushes the control column towards the most forward position, the control horn does not make contact with the primary downstop in the tail as in a properly adjusted system. Instead, the secondary stop in the forward section makes contact, limiting elevator down rotation to only seven degrees from neutral. Notice that the bell crank in the forward section makes contact with the secondary downstop when the control column is pushed forward. The restricted range of elevator travel in the improperly adjusted system is shown in red. Notice that the range of downward travel is about half that of a properly adjusted system. The loss of airplane nose down elevator is shown in green.